Hey you guys, so we've totally redesigned the onboarding flow. We've also added a bunch of new features that eliminates any additional um, work that you would have had to do otherwise. It's all automated now. So you can go straight from your website, them clicking a button onto this page, to them filling out the screens and they are completely onboarded and services will start, posts will start getting scheduled without you guys lifting a finger. And even things within their account, like the AI writer, will already have the company profile information set up. You're also able to get additional information from these people, like if they're using SEO services, for example, so you can upsell your more expensive services to them. And we store all of this intake information in a very convenient location. So without any further ado, I'm going to go through what a customer a new client would experience going through your new onboarding flow. And then I'm gonna show you how to set it up and it's super easy, just a series of check boxes. So I've already filled out this information for the Twin Rivers Group, it's a lending company and it's completely fake. Um, this is just a demo account I'm gonna be using. So let's say, let me in. Now it's asking me to pay. So this is just a $2 account that I am setting up. It's telling them it's our full service social media management um, account. And the total amount is $2 per month. You can set that price to whatever you want. Hopefully it's closer to $2,000, but that's what we're gonna put in for now. Now that the credit card is processed, um, we have a new animated payment successful page and it automatically advances you. So here's where they can connect their own social accounts so they don't need to send you their passwords um, in some you know unencrypted way. This way you don't need to transmit passwords at all and it's their responsibility to set this up. They click continue. If you recall, I put in um, Twin Rivers. So we took the liberty of visiting their website, our server did at least, grabbed their logo, and it's asking them to select if they wanna use this logo or upload a different one or skip. I'm gonna select the logo so we can add it to their social posts. So now you can see this is kind of big, so we are gonna allow them to resize this themselves. Big improvement. So they can either change the logo if they change their mind, um, they can change their mind and not add a logo at all or save and continue. And by the way, all these buttons, everything is totally configurable still in your white label tab. So you can change the colors to match your brand. So this is just insane. This client intake form is such a game changer. So this looks pretty innocent, right? Like we're just asking them for some feedback, right? Like what are your main goals? Describe your product and service. This is just the kind of thing that they would expect when they go into an office, for example, and they've got this big old stack of paper and they have to fill it all out. Or maybe they would go through this over the phone with an account manager. This is super convenient for them. They're able to do it right here from the privacy and comfort and security of their own home. But what they don't realize is this isn't just ink on paper. As they're doing this, this was really just a clever way for us to automatically set up their entire account on your behalf. So when they're done with this, there is no action required on your part. We will reach into their account, provision an account, put in just the right um, features and um, settings based on what they've told us in this intake form. We will also store all the information from this intake form in a very quick and easy way for you to access it. And I'll show you where that is later. But let's just go through this. What are our main goals? So we're a lending group, so we want to obtain new clients via social media. Describe your product or service. We are a lender in the let's see, small business space, specializing in SBA loans. Describe your target customer. We're going after small to medium sized businesses in the Americas. What is your brand voice? And we also added these really convenient hover overs. So if they don't understand the question, they can always get more information here. So brand voice, so we are a lending group, so we're more professional but friendly. 
And what is your primary call to action? Get free approved fast at winrivers.com. Do you want us to hold posts for your approval? I'm going to say yes. Uh, we will start posting ASAP approximately three days, and this is configurable as well. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Um, so they can either say go for it and start automatically in three days, or they can say that's a little bit too soon. And let's say the client actually wants to wait until next Monday. So they can actually set a date when it will start. And yes, this will actually wait that long before it starts posting. So cool. So are you currently working with an SEO expert to boost your website rankings? This is a custom question that I added, and I'll show you how to add these later. Um, but I'm going to say no. So now that's a big opportunity to make that pitch. And additional instructions for our team. Um, they can add whatever they want here. And I'm going to say save and continue. So now it says thank you, get excited, your social engine is running. All of this information is totally configurable. And another really cool thing we added is you can add a YouTube video. So when you choose YouTube, it kind of stacks this information, gets rid of this, you know, everything is center aligned, and then there's a nice big YouTube video, and you can set it to autoplay if you want. So um, you've got a couple options, and then they can cont continue to their dashboard. And at this point, they're ready to actually start using the software. It's going to provision um, an account for them. So as you could see, it's already set up for them. What I'm going to do now is show you like where some of this information lives. You know, like if we say like, let's go over to import from agency. So you'll notice that, you know, the next batch is already scheduled to go out in the future. So this is all ready to load in their information. And you'll also notice that in the AI writer, um, over here we've got like social media. It's going to give them a quick start video, but let's stop that for now. Let's just jump into the social media one. Um, in this particular account, we've given them permission to um, use the AI writer. So I'm going to just say I understand and launch chat GPT because I want to show you guys something really cool. So it's already finished the onboarding now. Um, on the left side, the first thing it asks, asks them to do is always company profile and set this up. Well, remember, we already selected lending industry, so it already says lending. We asked them to describe their product and service, and it says it right here, specializing in SBA loans. We asked them to describe their target customer. Here it is, small to medium-sized businesses in the Americas. And get pre-approved fast at twinrivers.com. Do you remember that? <laughs> so that was the call to action that we were asking from them. And we plot that right in here. And also, what is your brand voice? It already has the professional and friendly brand voice that they said. So they're basically ready to start using the AI writer. Not only are they ready to start doing it, but you're ready. They've already set this up. So if you were able to upsell them to SEO, for example... Now you would have the ability down here to jump right into this account and start doing some SEO work. So you could click on that and everything would already be pre-established in this flow to insert all the information that you need to start running SEO for this company. Very slick. Another thing it automatically does for you is back here on the publisher, remember the new call to action groups that we do now? Well, it just set up a new call to action group in addition to the other default ones called get pre-approved fast. So what I can do is I can edit this and just show you guys. It's smart enough to, you know, add the call to action group name here, but also the call to action group, um, the call to action is added to each one of the social networks, including YouTube. And it's smart enough to know that Instagram and TikTok do not have clickable links. So it's going to say link in bio by default. So it's set up totally optimally, um, bold the call to action. It already also made this the default call to action. So literally now all you need to do is just double click this and it's automatically going to add that call to action um, for that client. And it's also because now that we have the CSVs that are auto posting on behalf of the client every month, with our social media growth system, 
those already have call to action groups that are invoked in the CSV. So now without lifting a finger, when it loads those posts for the client, it's automatically going to add the visit our website at twinrivers.com or get pre-approved to the end of most of those social posts, like all the ones where it makes sense. And some of them will be uh, because there's more of a strategy than just driving people to the website. Some of them will say things like, hey, like and follow that kind of thing for more engagement. But all of that is done behind the scenes. And again, you didn't have to lift a finger to do it. So how do you set this up? Let's jump into our pricing plans. And just to remind you guys, just go to the agency dashboard, click on agency CRM, um, activate the feature if you don't have it yet, and you're able to now jump in. So I'm gonna go into the pricing plan that we just saw. Um, before I do that, I wanna show you one other cool feature. The first thing you're gonna need to do if you wanna have customized questions in your intake form, and that's why I wanna show you this first, is the first step you should do if you have any custom questions, you'll wanna add that first, because what we do is when you turn this on, it's going to add those custom questions to all of your pricing plans, so you just need to check the box on the ones that you want to include those questions in. So they'll be there, but you'll still be able to tog toggle them on and off on a per pricing plan basis. So as you can see, this is the, um, the only question that I've already asked is, are you currently working with an SEO expert? You remember seeing that? Well, you can add three types of questions and you can add unlimited questions here. So you can have open-ended, which is just a form field. You can have multiple choice, which allows you to create list items from a dropdown, or you can create yes or no questions. And then you just ask the question and we'll have a yes or no button. It's very, very simple to do this. So once you add this, it will appear. So I'm gonna say, um, let's do like a, where did you hear about us kind of a thing. So I'll ask an open-ended one here. Where did you hear about us? And click save. Now it's there and we can add another one if we want. So now that I've added that, I'm gonna jump into the pricing plan and let's see what happened. So remember how in the intake form I showed you guys, it asked them how many days they wanted to wait. It said, hey, it's gonna be three days before we start loading these posts. And it asked if they wanted to wait until later or if that was perfectly fine. Well, that number came from right here. So you guys now have a place to change that. So it's the label here is load posts X days after purchase. So you can put one here if you wanted to actually go out tomorrow, if you're like somebody who's selling content sets I know we have one very active agency pro user who sells these big content sets to affiliate marketers and they want it now. Like they don't wanna wait three days. But we recommend three days just because it makes it seem like you guys put a lot of hard work into creating this for them. They don't know, like they're gonna see their logo on every image and every social post and they're gonna see custom call to actions at the end of them. They will not know that, that we did all of this for you guys. So um, make them wait a few days um, and make it seem like you guys put a ton of work into creating all these social posts, but you can change that to whatever number you want. And just remember that the client cannot make it any sooner than this. They can only add it later. Like if you put 10 days here because you're doing a lot of really custom work, we will black out the first 10 days when they say later and it we will not allow them to say sooner. We will give you a minimum of the number of days you enter here. So you'll notice in the onboarding screens, it's just gotten a lot more robust. So where did you hear about us is a new question. So I will need to click here to activate this. So ask them to complete a client intake form um, is totally new. And when you click on this section, you'll wanna configure it. Just check all the questions and make sure that they apply. And the general rule is I wouldn't have a client intake form at all if you're selling SaaS without loading any social posts for them. Even if you're using the automated social posts that we include with every workspace for free for you, like the um, social media growth system, even if you're only doing those, definitely ask for the client intake form. But if you're not loading any posts on the plan, then I would just turn it off. Um, if you're not using any automated posts, but you are manually adding posts for them, like a really you know high touch 
kind of a plan, you would still want them to fill out that client intake form because you desperately want that information from them so you can give them uh, bespoke customized services, personalized for them. So for this one, I'm gonna leave that on. Um, the next phase of this, and by the way, we give you the hoverovers just so you can see what your clients are being told about what each of these um, forms and, or elements on the form is all about. So the thank you screen, this is where you can customize that. You could say, get excited, your social engine is running. You remember seeing that title. So here's your subheading, here's your main message, and here's where you can just add a YouTube video, just add the URL, and check autoplay if you want it to do that. And that's it. Now you've got that intake form added. So where does all this information go? So under workspaces, like we just added, I'm gonna say rivers. Let's try to find this twin rivers group. Okay, so for this information, um, right over here, the client intake form responses. If you click that new icon right there, you can see the entire client intake form and see all the information that they put in. And that will always be here for you to reference in the future. It's just a very quick way for you to learn a little bit more about this client. Like maybe that they wanted to talk to you on the phone or they had a question via email and you needed to reference this real quick. It's super, super convenient to have everything live right here under the client intake form response. And um, if there's no intake form, it'll say no intake form, so you don't waste your time. So just hover over it, and if they um, did have an intake form attached to their workspace, it will be there for you. So you guys now have complete automation. I mean, you can just go forth and market. Um, and we're gonna be giving you guys some marketing help very soon. But right now you can see we finally have that bottom of the funnel completely automated and you guys are going to be able to scale like it's nobody's business. If you have any questions, reach out to us over here in live chat and I look forward to seeing what you guys do with this.